Hey ladies and gents, it's Zizdu is coming to you with a review of the Mythic Legion's Ravena figure. This is the fan created, fan voted on figure, and that's why I wanted it to go first of all the Advent of Decay Kickstarter reviews. Uh, Ravena looks amazing, as you can probably see, but it wasn't an easy process to get her there. All the fans voted and argued and kicked and scratched and screamed <laughs> because every aspect of her was basically voted on and argued about on the forums before she came to be. Uh, I mean, they voted on shin guards, knee pads, ankles, gauntlet plating, shoulder pauldrons, base color of armor. I think it was, uh, I think they even... Um, skin color and eye color and everything so as you can imagine there are as many different opinions as there are fans so to get everybody um, sort of on the same page or at least some sort of consensus uh, in a design by committee uh, experiment like this is uh, really really tough and I've got her next to Vorgus Vermilius which was the first Kickstarter fan voted on figure that came out absolutely amazing it actually ended up being the biggest seller of all the individual figures um, the, the individual basic figures in that Kickstarter um, and uh, so was the success of Vargas Vermilius duplicated with Ravena I have to say um, definitely yes I don't know where she stands in sales I, I doubt that um, she's sold as much as Vargas but as far as aesthetics are concerned, she looks absolutely amazing. Let me read her bio for you because that was another thing that the uh, fans voted on, okay? Um, or at least contributed. They contributed uh, in, in the name and also some of the aspects of her bio, which ended up coming out in the, her bio. So it says, Ravena. The only survivor of an attack on her small village by Vorgus Vermilius, the vampiric wearer of the blood armor, Ravena was taken in as a young child by a sect loyal to the order of Ethiron and trained as a cleric, vowing vengeance against the blood armor and willing to use controversial means to obtain the relics she believes she needs to defeat it, she was ultimately exiled from the order. She later became a member of the Convocation of Basilia, where she continues her quest undeterred. So, uh, very cool bio, if I do say so myself. Um, you've got a very driven character. You've got a character who has a tragic backstory. You've got a character who, uh, you know, made a go at it trying to uh, be part of the Order of Ethiron and then was expelled from that. So, kind of losing her second family. Um, but yet continues on her quest to, uh, you know, destroy Vorgus Vermilius. I also love the fact that Vorgus uh, has a, um, that Vorgus has a role in her backstory because it nicely ties together both of the fan created figures and it's a neat addition to the mythos. So when they get together, oops, when they get together, <laughs> I imagine it's going to go something like this. It's going to be like, My name is Ravena. You killed my father and my mother and my uncle and my aunt and my brother and my sister and my cat and my dog and my my uh, great uncle Petunia and my boyfriend and everybody that I've ever known and loved. And it's like, Oh, Ravena, I'm sorry. That's kind of what I do. I I get the picture. You don't have to go on. You, and then you kill my uh, my second cousin and his aunt and uh, everyone in our small village. And now you must die. Ravena, I am already dead. Oh, oh no. So that'll be the end of her quest. <laughs> I apologize. I uh, don't do female voices very well. Um, but let's take a look at Ravena. Hijinks aside. Vorgus, you're old and busted. Ravena, you're the new hotness. 
what do you have to offer? Okay, first of all, the color scheme, okay? Knock down, drag out fight, but uh, ultimately this is the color scheme that was chosen. I had a part in that. I kind of suggested that I wanted a color scheme that was kind of like Lin May from the wall, so that sort of metallic blue with gold accents. Um, uh, that was originally uh, my idea, folks. Hold on. And then um, I have some comments here from folks during the process so you know um, what kind of weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth went on with these, with, with these uh, <clears throat> when we were making the sausage, making the figures. <laughs> Here was so so you know you'd suggest something right like like a color or or like um, just an idea as to as to how the figure should look and and uh, one person wrote not trying to troll or flame but this figure is going to be an absolute mess I've made thousands of customs over the years and pretty much every color combination imaginable but I can't see how this figure is going to look like anything more than a mismatched badly thought out disaster such a shame it has to come to this there were some fantastic mock-ups too the mock-ups were fantastic um when when I came up with the idea for the color, uh, North Coast, which is another member of the forum, popped up an amazing series of, of mock-ups so people can look and compare and decide which one they like the best. And eventually this one won out. But as you can tell, it was not an uh, uncontroversial choice. The other choice was the matte black on the arms and legs, um, as opposed to the uh, regular skin tone um, so it's got like a kind of skin tight cat suit thing on um, uh, I I you know didn't know how that was going to go over but it gives her real stealthy look kind of like a rogue or a thief or um, something like that some something that really matches her bio because you don't know exactly what she is but you know that you she uses stealth to accomplish her ends so um I had a, there was another poster who, you know, after somebody said it was going to be an absolute disaster, was like, I vote for this. This is better than anything I've imagined to this point. How amazing, right? <laughs> so that's how disparate the opinions were on this girl. Um, I, 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 I got a critique. People, some better, people are better at imagining the final um, figure than others. Um, I'm not that great with color. I'm not that... Um, great at being able to tell ultimately what something will look like but um some people are another poster was like in all the color dis discussions i just want to echo how much i love this mock-up while some may say that it doesn't fit their version of the character it fits mine perfectly for the myth mythic legions world i say this looks perfect for an assassin a spy a shadow archer whatever it's still dark with the accents breaking it up so it's visually interesting and i love it and i i you know, I'm taking these fan quotes because I couldn't say I couldn't say that better myself. I think that really tells you what this figure is like. You know, there was also a big discussion of the color of the cape, which ultimately being, ended up being blue. And then the name was another whole controversy. But ultimately, look, she looks awesome. I love the skin tone. It's a darker um, brown. She's got like silver eyes, which make her very, very striking. Um, the hood does not come off. Um, and then the other thing about this figure is the horseman just included a ton of accessories. Not only does she come with this cool crossbow, it has a detachable arrow on it, but it comes with um, some of my favorite weapons that they've um, ever made. It's also got the um, on the back, the quiver uh, with the arrows. Those arrows don't come out there there. But and then it's got this really cool bone sword, and I love the way it's colored, where it's got the black and the gold. Because look at how that shimmers nicely. But at the same time, it's kind of like, oh wow, this is like an enchanted weapon. You know, this is not your regular weapon that everybody um, goes around with. So I imagine that's one of the relics that she hunted down, and that she's going to use to take out Vorgus uh, Vermilius if 
the time should ever come. Um, so uh, let me show you. Let me show you the cross crossbow. Um, look at that metallic blue. It actually has a real elastic string. I don't know if it could shoot the arrow. I'm not going to try because I don't want to break it. But, um, you know, that makes me happy because I hate those floppy uh, plastic strings that are included with most action figure. Um, they're not even strings. They're just like either not there at all for safety reasons or plastic. But that's that's how that arrow goes on there. Um, let me see what else I'm having. Um, she also comes with a ton of extra accessories including this standard which has the four horsemen logo on it so is this another faction what, what what's going on i don't know she's part of the convocation of basilia so um anyway that's a nice big bonus to have as well and then she comes with this staff um which uh has this detachable um wooden uh, topper on it and it also has a metal topper. So if you want to change that out, I don't think these staves really work well with her hands because the hands are small. I think these are just extras that the four horsemen added in. Plus she's, you know, already loaded for bear with her sword and her, and her crossbow. And then we have a couple of adapters here for wings and various things. Of course, the cape and the strap, which comes in really handy um, when it, for holding her weapons and stuff. So anyway, um, this figure is awesome. I don't think, I can't possibly think of any way the fans could have taken and, and made a better figure. So congratulations to the fans. Congratulations to the horsemen. Knock this one out of the park. Uh, if anything, um, it was a more difficult figure to, get made than Vorgus Vermilius because of how how uh, complex it is. So that's it. Is it a whiz? Signing out.